So in their 20s, men play basketball. In their 40s, they play tennis. And in their 50s, they play golf. The moral of the story, the older you get, the smaller the balls get. (laughs) Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Corey, and he doesn't like to use the finger. He likes to use the whole hand. (laughs) Ah, oh, it's the finger. I was hitting it with the finger. That was the problem. It's the full hand. Get the score up this time. Boom, boom. Ah, what am I doing? I'm getting confused now. Oh, there's no bullets. This is the problem with putting me in a game like this, Kieran, is I am far too much of a uh, perfectionist. Ah. <laughs> ah, that's insane. Was that time? Ah, oh, world rank number five. Hi, Corey. Thanks for coming over today. Thanks, Kizza. Now, the Pleasure. game today was Rizzle Player VR. Yep. How did we find it? Um, I mean, I would play that. And as you saw, I'm a competitive person and it suckered me in. I think I could just keep playing that all day. Um, so, yeah, great game. So it's basically a sports simulator, but it's not a, it's not a whole sports game. It's a load of mini games yeah. based around American football, reaction times, basketball and soccer. The game feels almost like a training game as in like it's it, what it's trying to do is kind of take some of the skills from the physical game that you, it can actually replicate as close as possible and it'll train you on those skills so you can take it home kids can learn from young and stuff like that so i think it's done that really well but anyway so american football right off the bat is all the game is is throwing the american football um, and then different scenarios. So there'll be defenders coming at you and you've got to dodge the defender a few times and there'll be multiple defenders. You've got to use your peripheral. And then there'll be a ring that'll be floating and so it'll throw you a ball at some point and then you've got to hit that ring. All right. Ah. Oh. There we go. Oh, this is intense. Like the flicking thing off the side is crazy. Trying to spin the ball. I'm going for top 10 this time. Come on. Out of your way. Out of your way. Out of your way. Oh. On the back foot. So after American football, um, we tried the basketball. Yep. Um, I thought it was going to be shooting hoops. Absolutely. That's what I thought as well. It's not, but it's more of a rhythm kind of game. But how Mm. did you find it? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. So I've I've played basketball growing up, um, played a little bit as an adult as well. But um, I can 100% see the the training um, aspect of this and how it would be effective. Because it's all about kind of like moving the ball into the position and taking passes, I guess, and just responding. And it gets faster and the, the rings, I, I guess we should step back and talk about what it actually is. So the rings move at you at different speeds in time with the music and you're holding a ball and you've basically got to put the ball through the rings in various places. And every now and again, a colored statue will appear and you've got to put the ball through whichever color that statue is. So you've got to use your peripheral too. So it's from a sports perspective, it's training you speed, accuracy, because the accuracy of the ball through the hoops gives you more points, and plus using your periphery to see what's happening around you as well. <laughs> yeah, I actually really enjoy this. What a workout! (laughs) Definitely don't need to go to the gym now. This is it. Come around and do Kieran's basketball exercise. (laughs) 
All right, this is intense. All right, red, red. Now, after the basketball, we went into soccer and we did we did headers and we did uh, goalkeeping. How did you find those? So of all the sports that we were playing, this is the one that I have had the least exposure to. So when you're watching this video and I'm absolutely hopeless, hopeless at it, um, don't Tr judge. Trust the edit. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, so... Or the head it. <laughs> I'll keep that in. Um, yeah, so as far as it's... The initial thing was headers, so it's shooting at you these these balls and you've basically got to judge the ball, the angle and all that kind of stuff and try and head it into the goal, but not the entire goal. It gives you targets and some of them will be large and some of them will be small and there's also a goalie that moves around in the middle. Um, it was good. I mean, it's not something I've ever really done before in the real world, so I can't really compare it to the real world, but I felt the physics and across all the games felt Really? Real? Like the way the ball would um, bounce off the edge of the net and bounce towards you, it made me want to kick it. Like the way the ball was coming at me felt real. Ah, how good are the physics though? The, build, the ball coming off the bar then. Ah, I need that, I want that further one. That's better. Boom, come on, keep them coming. Need to get under it a little bit more. There we go. Ah, out. Let's get back in there. That's better. <laughs> really good at hitting the goalie. But then the other game was the goalie one. So it's all of these kind of ball shoots around you and it shoots balls at you and you've got to either catch them to get more points or just block them. Um, they come at you like absolute bullets, some of them. <laughs> and it was like, I was just like, I do not do not have the reaction time to stop some of these. Like, it's just insane. No, I was the same, man. It's yeah. like... Uh, the ones that kind of hit the ramp and you can yeah. catch, great. The, the the real fast ones, I don't think, I think I hit one, but yeah. it still ended up in the back of the yeah. net. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is like I see it coming, but it's just moving way faster than I think it's moving. And so I'm like, I can see it coming. I'm like roughly here, but then by the time I actually get my hand there, it's already past me. And it also <laughs> does that great VR thing is like something fast is coming from my face. Yeah. And you're almost in panic mode a little bit. I was like, am I trying to catch her? Am I trying yeah, to defend yeah, yeah, my yeah. face? Yeah, from, yeah, that's right. From it happening. But um, yeah, I, I like the soccer stuff. It was good. Oh, I didn't realize they were coming that hot. <laughs> I'm just deflecting those high ones from now on. And the last main part of the game we tried was the reaction wall, mm -hmm. uh, which was a series of walls, a normal one, I suppose 30 degrees, 60 mm -hmm. degrees and 180, mm -hmm. just different lights on. Yeah. You had to hit them. How did you find it? Well, I think the, the first thing I found was that I was trying to push the buttons, whereas I actually need to hit it with my full palm in order to do it, to, in order to trigger the thing. But this is something that like as far as professional athletes use or even athletes that are training to be professional, this is actually a tool that they all use in the real world. And so I could 100% see the value of it. And there was like to get your brain working on another level, it also put some on the floor and some on the roof if you wanted to put it. And it also would color tag your hand so you could only push like the green with your left hand and the red with your right hand and the different colored lights to come up and you had to respond accordingly. Um, but this is anyone that's kind of like wants to train their reaction time and is a, wants to be an athlete for, for whatever reason, 
this would be a great, great way to do it. I mean, um, it, it, it felt as if you were doing it in the real world and was relatively responsive once I figured out the whole hand thing. This is, this is great though. I've actually wanted to set one of these up in my house once just to practice, to get my reaction times up. Don't know what for, just because I feel like I should have better reaction times. Doesn't always click on it when I hit them. Maybe I'm just not being that. That's my, maybe my issue. Whew, okay. It's hard to talk in the uh, video on this one because you're concentrating so much. Now, the last part of the game we played was you went on to do some challenges. Mm -hmm. um, Corey is currently number one in the world at American football. Get on, beat his challenge. I'm actually, so of those challenges, I was actually, by the end of them all, I was number one in the world in all three challenges. I oh, did. were you? Yeah, there was uh, the first one, I think there was the second one, there was only one other person on it. So just like top of two. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, by the time I finished, I was the top of all of those challenges. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the way I think they have, looks like monthly by the way that it kind of introduced it. So every month it seems like they create out of that combination of games they create a challenge. And so whoever's got the game can then compete to be number one on that particular challenge. And so they had an American football one. They had a mixed one. So it was like a uh, one of one basically from each round um, or each type. And then they had a soccer one and they had something else. But um, yeah, yeah, no, it was fun. And I really liked the challenges. And if they were updating them every month and it was kind of a competitive thing, I think that'd be a real motivator. Oh, this is hard. Come on. Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ah, yellow, green. No, blue. That's better. Just got to slow it down a bit. All right, well, we do this at the end of every virtual reel. Let's mm -hmm. see those thumbs. Thumbs for game. Yeah, so, and this might just, this is personal preference potentially because as, as I said, I'm a competitive person. I just like these kinds of games. Um, so 100% thumbs up. Oh, yeah, from this day forward, you are competitive, Corey. <laughs> um, and I play it like I'm, I'm just a sporty person too, so I could actually see the value in this and, and from a like the value that it would have from a training perspective for reaction time and just accuracy and all that kind of stuff I think was really valuable. Then if you were to go and do the challenges update every month and you can go and test your medal against the rest of the world, I think that would that'd drag out the usefulness of the game or the playability of the game for quite some time. Yeah, I'm totally there on the game. I, I'm, I'm there, 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 <laughs> because I, I, I would like to see how the challenges vary. Mm. Um, uh, but even if they vary a lot, I'm not sure if I would come back to it time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. um, that's because you have a body that's muscular and I have a body that's made of jelly. So, you know, maybe I should, maybe I should play it more. Look, it's, it's, it's more or less two thumbs because it is, it is good. And I give Les Mills two thumbs, so screw it. Two thumbs. Yeah. Result. It, it doesn't do anything really wrong. It's, it, it's, it's pretty cool. All that's left to say is thank you, Corey, for coming over and playing Rezzle Player. Pleasure. Thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. Bye. So what's the philosopher's favorite sport? What is the philosopher's favorite sport? Discus. <laughs>